In today's video, we're pitting two rarities against each other, Ultimate Rare versus Collector Rare. What's up guys, we're back with another rarity versus battle. And in this one, we have 20 packs of Tactical Masters face up against 20 packs of OTS 21. And I've been really into Tactical Masters recently because I need a few cards for my Labyrinth deck. I also have been playing a little bit of Sprite on Master Duel on Twitch, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, around 1 p.m. Central, I stream. Go check it out if you guys have not already. Uh, so I kind of want to pull some of the Sprite stuff out of OTS 21. So might as well open both these packs. Before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, the Ancient Gear, Gadgetron, Dragon, Sacred Phoenix, Secret Rare, and the Secret Rare silent swordsman level five just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications do you think collector rare or ultimate rare is better and which one will win this battle all right let's just get into this we have 40 packs today ultimate rare and collector rare have sometimes been compared because i guess because they're like full card kind of rarities but at the same time they're not very similar at all but you know let me know what you guys think about them tier elements merly we've had some weird things going on with our ots 21 so we'll see if like we pull all the same super rares or not but i do need some of those sprite cards okay tactical masters it is an interesting oh wait okay where did where do these pop up again oh it's at the back for a uh, fair welcome La labyrinth that's must be a bad card because i've never even heard of it and then a valence buster baron we pull this guy every time too it's really weird okay let's keep going so ultimate rare is usually more of a fan favorite i think ultimate rare probably is the default favorite rarity in all of Yu-Gi-Oh because people like ghost rares people like starlight stuff like that but ultimate rare seems to be the most like universally whoa Universally accepted. This is a very, very, very off-centered card. Scareclaw Cash Tier. I'm I might keep that just for the off-centered like misprint binder. That's hilariously off-centered. That's crazy. Next up, and then Collector Rare is one that's it's kind of iffy on if people like it or not because the uh the OCG ones, if you guys didn't see my OCG video the other day, which it seems like all of you did because it a lot of views on it like randomly so yeah the people really like the ocg collector rares but the tcg just don't hit the same so it's kind of an interesting combo because like it can be a nice rarity but only if you open it in the ocg and then some of the tcg sets look better than the others and some of them just don't look that good so it's kind of a weird rarity where some people really like it, some people don't like it at all. There's a Tabar, this guy Ninja. Yeah, it's it's a weird one. So I'm hoping that they could maybe up the quality to be more like OCG collector rares because those look absolutely amazing. And I think it'll become a fan favorite at that point if people really, you know, see how they could potentially look. Because if you haven't seen the OCG, you'll be like collector rare. It's kind of boring, you know, kind of subtle. You can't really see. And it. speaking of, we've not pulled anything. We could pull ultimate rares. We're doing a versus battle in this, by the way. So I mean, I don't know if we've scored any points at all. We have a E pearly happiness super rare and by points i mean a dollar plus cards all right it's been rough so far we have not gotten really anything at all we haven't got an ultra rare we haven't got an ultimate we haven't gotten a collector rare you know all the higher rarity stuff valence quick booster astrograph sorcerer and a welcome labyrinth one of the big ultra rares that we are looking for i need one more of these for my labyrinth deck which you know labyrinth deck where i mean who knows if i'll ever play it but i am assembling one right now i'm excited about it because i've been playing in master duel go check out the twitch stream it's been fun uh we're actually putting together the full labyrinth deck in master duel right now but i've been playing sprite as well uh, speaking of Sprite, Sprite Red, I think I did already have this one, but still nice as well. It's a one of usually. Okay, Welcome Labyrinth. That's a nice pull. I'm happy about that. I need two more Ariana, I think. Uh, so we need a couple more of those to have everything from this set that I need. Send it switch. We have Lilith. We have Hojo. That's a super rare. Um, a collector rare would be great. I'd be okay with that. I don't really play like the runic stuff, but I am trying to get like a core together just in case, you know, that I ever do decide to play them, which will probably not happen because that's what happens with me. I put decks together and I don't really use them very often. It's just fun, you know, assembling the deck. And, uh, you know, I, I might play it casually, though, so maybe that'll happen. Pendulum, we have Anti-Spell Fragrance, Backjack, Labyrinth Archfiend, Imperial Iron Wall, Runic Allure, and a Labyrinth Barrage. Super rare. Okay, so far it's been an interesting one. It looks like Collector Rare is way ahead right now because they just got like a 30 plus dollar card. I think it's come down a little bit for when we pulled it and it was like 45. <gasps> oh, never mind. OTS takes the lead right back. Cash tier of Finrear Ultimate Rare. And the centering is not horrible, horrible like the other ones I pulled, but still pretty bad. But wow, Cash tier of Finrear Ultimate Rare. Wow, this card is insane. It's so, so good. That's a game changer for this video. That is a huge ball. It's like, oh yeah, they got a big lead. Uh, it's probably a pretty tough hill to climb now for Tactical Masters, but we can do this, Tactical Masters fans. Let's go. We got Senate Switch. We have Capulse. We have Labyrinth Setup. That's not going to do it. That's probably not even going to give us a dollar. OTS Tournament Pack 21. Wow, that was a pull right there. Oh my goodness. Ultimate Rare. We have Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars. Contract and Tier Elements. Havenus, another super rare. 
No big deal because we have Labyrinth cards will be pulled. It's going to happen. Labyrinth, Imperial Iron Wall, Runic Allure, Duelist Alliance. That's a Ruxin special right past the Shandraglier, the Cosmic Cyclone, and a Labyrinth Labyrinth. So we pulled a bunch of these already. You only really need one per deck, sometimes two. So I don't need that one. OTS 21. Come on, you've been crazy. You pulled an ultimate rare already. Let's get to, I think I need some of the uh, e pearly happiness. I still need some Sprite uh, Jets, I think. Jets in here is a super, right? I think it is a super, I'm pretty sure it is. Bear Blocker, we have Duelist Alliance. I still need blue too, because I sold all my ultis. Uh, me ultis is what it sounded like. Valence World, that's a super rare. Sold me ultis already. All right, we have OTS 21, I dropped it. No, be careful. Let's get something good. Let's get something epic. Here we go. We have the Sacred Sword, a contract with Aquamere and a tier elements haveness or tier laments. I still want to say tier elements. I just can't help it. It's ingrained. It's ingrained. Okay. To say the wrong thing. Next up, will we get something epic Senate switch? Pretty crazy pull so far. I mean, both have had a great pull. Trap trick, farewell labyrinth, archfiend's ghastly glitch, another super rare. That card could technically be played in labyrinth. I think I used it in the Xyz event when I played labyrinth, which didn't use Xyz at all. So I was kind of cheating a little bit. We have mysterious puppeteer and e pearly happiness. I saw the Xyz. I got a little excited. Excited. And I realized that uh, none of the good cards are exceeding. That's it. Okay. Uh, Reckless Greed. Let's go. Come on. Lilith. Fiend Grieving. Ruxin Special. Right past the Runic Slumber. We have Valence Dominator and a Valence Buster Bear. This guy's everywhere. I've pulled this guy like a hundred times. Fortunately, that is by far the worst archetype in this set. Still searching. Still looking. Still recording. That's very important. Got to double check that while you're opening. Will we get something big? Galaxy Expedition. The Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. Okay. Tier Elements Havness, Tier Elements Havness, I will say it correctly eventually. Tactical Masters, I believe in you. We have Valence Voltage, The Backjack, Pendulum Switch, Reckless Greed, Anti-Spell Fragrance. We have the Pendulum Fusion and no, dude. How is this guy in every bag? We've already pulled three or four of them today only. And then there's like 20 more over the past, like the last week. I'm raging. I'm angry. I'm, I'm frustrated. Why is this card everywhere? Okay. Okay. Galaxy Expedition. Let's go. Come on. Abyss Curtain, Razor, back to Actor. Well, I cannot speak. Okay. Let's just keep going. The same supers, but what do you expect? What do you expect? I'm throwing packs everywhere. OTS 21. Seems like they're always the same cards over and over. Let's see what else we can get. The Labyrinth Stovey. Stovey. Okay. Compulse, Cosmic Cyclone, Pendulum Fusion, Senate Switch, Pendulum Switch. Okay, I thought that was the Baron for a second. I was like, no, no, no. It wasn't, so we're good. All right, OTS, tournament pack, 21. I believe in you. One more ultimate rare can just really solidify this contract. Rescue Ace HQ. All right, that's a thing. Tactical Masters. Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? Will it be a collector rare scapegoat? Ooh, scapegoat. We can pull the collector rare. And I spell fragrance, Book of Eclipse. It's so funny how I'm going back to the set after opening so much. I was like so tired of it because of the scapegoat. And now we're back to it. Uh, we have, oh yes, double welcome labyrinth. That's what I'm talking. This is actually going to be a close battle. Two welcome labyrinth is like 70 bucks ish. Fenrir, I think was around that. Maybe it, it, it might've gone up to like a hundred. I'm not really sure. I haven't kept up with the Fenrir price, but definitely a nice pull. That's quite interesting actually, because now we have, well, I have a complete set of welcome labyrinth now, which is nice. Still need an Ariana. So if we could get that, this would be a great opening. It's already been pretty good. Network trap hole. Number 29, Mannequin Cat. That's not that crazy. Tactical Masters. Now, can you bless us with Ariana? So last time we pulled Ariana Collector, you guys saw that. It was insane. It was awesome. We have Senate Switch. Valence, Lilith, Trap Trick, Farewell Labyrinth, Valence Voltage, and Hojo. All right, the Valence Warrior. Dude, there's so many Valence cards. Come on. Five packs left of each. Still a lot of potential here. Can we make it happen? Can we get an ultimate rare and really put it away for OTS 21? No, Rescue HHQ. That's not crazy. Tactical Masters. Come on. Come on, Tactical Masters. You got to believe. We have Anti-Spell Fragrance. We have Nazuki. Bear Blocker. The Quick Booster. Lilith. Quick, you know, Quick Booster has an ultimate rare. I don't know if you guys knew that. It's kind of a weird one to have an ultimate rare. Runic Smining Storm and Labyrinth Barrage. Okay, not another Welcome Labyrinth. That would have been sick, but that's okay. Still a few packs to go. You got to believe this will happen. This will be epic. Will we pull an ultimate rare? Sprite Blue. Let's go. We have Mysterious Puppeteer. And Pearly Happiness. Okay, that is not the droid we're looking for. Three packs left of each. Come on, give us a collector rare. We have not pulled one yet. Bear Blocker, we have Invader of Darkness, we have Reckless Greed, Malice, Runic Allure, Lilith, 
and Archfiend Ghastly Glitch again. Come on. OTS Tournament Pack 21. Let's do this. Galaxy Expedition. Photon Sanctuary. Two Fenrir! Oh my goodness! Another Fenrir! Oh my! This is the best ultimate rare in the set. We now have two of them. This is a weird opening. We pulled two Welcome Labyrinth and two Fenrir. The best pull from each, we pulled twice. That is super weird. That is an amazing pull. The totals are up there. This has been a big opening. Wow, that is a huge one. Whoa! Cash tier of Fenrir! Twice! Not just once. Okay, you're really gonna need like an Ariana Collector to even have a chance here uh yeah that's pretty rough valence we have invader of darkness can we pull it here that'd be big i'd take an ultra rare though just for my for my deck i'd be happy with that another ghastly glitch okay we're pulling the same supers over and over great two packs left of each we've had a 40 pack opening today 36 of them have been opened here we go let's see what we get that's a crazy pull galaxy expedition and uh Merly at it again. The tier laments. Look, I nailed it. That's how you say the archetype. All right, two packs left. We need a collector rare here. Compulse, Quick Booster, formerly known as an ultimate rare. Trap Trick, Fair Welcome Labyrinth, Malice, Fiend Grieving, Valence World, Shinra Banshow. Final two packs. We'll start with OTS 21 because they have the lead. Yeah, it's going to be tough to come back from two Fenrir. That's about as good as it gets. We have Mysterious Puppeteer. Galaxy Expedition and Scareclaw Cash Tira again. So Scareclaw Cash Tira, not a bad card. Tactical Masters, let's go. Ariana Collector Rare, here we go. Pendulum Switch, Duelist Alliance, Astrograph Sorcerer. We have Runic Dispelling, Runic Slumber, Labyrinth Archfiend, and a Malkanka, the Valence United. A really terrible Valence Ultra Rare. It's an Ultra Rare though, we'll take it. But I think we know who won this one. Here's the totals. I mean, we don't even do it. It's a foregone conclusion now. If you guys enjoyed the opening, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jantz, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Nana Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.